Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I am in my first semester of nursing school. So today I thought I would talk about what I will be bringing to clinical. I just got off of my meeting. I got to meet my clinical advisor. She's a TA in the DNP program. We got to meet the other students who are going to be in my clinical group. So we got to hear about where to park, what to wear, what to bring, what we'll be doing. This first week is just shadowing an RN, so we won't really be doing anything hands-on, but it'll be a really good introduction. So I'm gonna start out with what will I be wearing? I have my school scrubs. So we have to wear our school scrubs. They're embroidered with our school name. So I have scrub tops, scrub bottoms, have to wear these. It's cold, I am always cold, so we can wear long sleeves underneath our scrub. So I have just a black long sleeve shirt that I'll be wearing. Any solid color is acceptable for our program. And then we have to wear just closed toed shoes. Um, we don't have specific requirements. I think it varies depending on our clinical setting as well as our TA. So our TA doesn't care as long as we have closed toed shoes but I did go out and I got just plain white clinical shoes. They are New Balance. I've been wearing them to my lab. Um, these are a size nine and a half. Uh, they were kind of expensive. I got them at Schuler Shoes. I have the gel inserts, 10 seconds to comfort because I have terrible feet, so I wanna be comfortable. So I got nice shoes, they're white. They should be good for all clinical sites through the program. So we will have to wear a face shield that was provided to us by the university. We have these just plastic ones. We have a foam band across the top, as well as a mask. So we wear our own mask in, whatever we want, and then we'll be given a surgical mask, so one of the blue masks. We can wear any kind of earrings, which is great because I have a fair number of piercings on each ear. I even have an industrial in. I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably switch it to something a little bit less obvious. So that's really exciting. I didn't want to have to take my earrings out before and after every shift. Not that it's a big deal. And then I didn't hear anything about tattoos. That varies clinical site to clinical site. Um, I don't think anyone in my group has tattoos that would be an issue. I currently don't have any tattoos. I am waiting until after nursing school, so I don't have to worry about covering anything up. Moving on to clinical supplies. We are supposed to be as minimal as possible. We don't have a lot of space and because of COVID, they do not want us bringing a lot of stuff in. So in the past, uh, people would bring in drug references or med surge books because this is a med surge unit, but we are highly encouraged not to do that. So I will not be bringing any textbooks. They also said probably don't bring your own laptop for filling out like the patient care activities and worksheets to just have that printed write it out when we have time because logging into your laptop is going to take too much time. So I'm not bringing a laptop either. What I am bringing is a notebook with all of our resources printed out for our lab. So I'll have those for reference. I'm bringing a couple pens so that I have writing utensils. Also bought a clipboard. This was highly suggested in other nursing school supply halls and clinical halls. So it does have a flap so you don't have patient names and identifiers out in the open. So I feel like this will be a nice tool to have that I can just put all my papers on here when I get there, clip my pen to it. I also have my School of Nursing card. This is not my university card. This is just what we're supposed to clip to our scrubs. I will be getting a clinical site badge. Also, I purchased this pocket organizer. I just got it off of Amazon. Um, cause I needed a pen light and then everyone says having surgical scissors is a really nice thing. So these all came together. It does come with another pen and then it just slides into your scrub top pocket. So I will open this up and have it ready to go for clinical. And then the last thing I have is just a little notebook. I don't know about everyone else, but I am terrible with remembering things like numbers, like taking vital signs and remembering what their pulse was, what their respirations were, what the blood pressure was, oxygen rate, all of that. I just don't trust myself to take vitals and then do something else in the room or with the patient and then go out and document. So I wanna be able to write them down as I go. This is something I've heard from so many other people that highly suggested you have a little notepad and then you just take notes while you go. I'll have a water bottle. We cannot eat or drink on the unit. We have to go to the break room and we are not getting any lunch break while we're there. We're allowed to have snacks, 
but we aren't taking lunch because the break room can only hold four people at a time during COVID up to six. They don't want us to be taking over the break room because there are eight of us in my clinical group. But we can bring a snack. I'll pack my snack probably the night before clinical. <laughs> then I'll bring my own stethoscope. So I have it in this stethoscope case. It is a Lipman Classic 3. So I just have the all black stethoscope. And then I have this cute little name tag on it has my name. I figure that way I know it's mine and it's just super cute. I got this on Amazon. The stethoscope came from my university bookstore. You can buy it on the Lipman website. So that is everything that I am bringing to clinical. Uh, I guess a little bit more about my clinical experience. I have to show up at 6 a.m. so it's a 30 minute drive. So I'll be leaving my house by 5 30 in the morning and our first hour is to prep with our TA or clinical advisor and just get our patient information prepped so we know what we'll be doing during the day. And then we will be checking in with our nurse preceptor and then we will start our day. We'll be there at 6 a.m. to 12.30, no lunch break in there. Then we will leave, come home, and at 1.30 we'll meet for two hours with our clinical group and discuss what we did in clinical that day. That is pretty much everything and not a lot of stuff to bring. Hopefully this is everything I need. I'm looking forward to my first clinical. I will put up a video of my first clinical experience, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. My first clinical is this Thursday. So that will be next week. And this video is going up right away today. And I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you want to see more about my nursing journey. Like the video if this was helpful or interesting in any way. Leave a comment. I try to get back to people within the week. Um, yeah, and I will see you all in the next one. I'm super excited for clinical. Also super nervous, but it's going to be great.